Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Bull and I work at PrinterBot and I am the lead assembler um, and I'm here today to explain the large go. We've done a couple videos already and so in this video we're going to explain how to actually print on this thing. It's, it's a beast and one thing we try to make crystal clear, uh, if you are watching this thinking about buying this, uh, we want people to buy this who are experts. This is not an easy thing to use. Uh, triple extrusion uh, printing is not an easy thing. So with all that said, uh, we'll get into it. Um, first of all, why don't we go to uh, our Octoprint. Uh, in a previous video we talked about this is the setup way that this is going to work with uh, the Wi-Fi um, ad hoc printing. So here is Octoprint. And Real simple uh, setup, I mean, you have your temperature, your control, um, this is what you're about to print, and then here's how you control all your different settings. Now with three color printing, uh, the relationship is gonna be a little different. Uh, you would think it's gonna be set up as extruder one, extruder two, and extruder three. Well, that's not the case. Uh, with any control software, you're gonna control things based off of T0, T1, and T2. T0 being extruder 1, T1 being extruder 2, and T2 being extruder 3. So if you want to control, say, just the first extruder, you're going to come in here with capital letters, oh, T0, send. Now I can go through and control just the temperature on that one extruder, or control it. Here I'm going to extrude 5 millimeters of filament just on that one. So then if I want to go to the second extruder, T1, send. Temperature, same thing, control, same thing. The third extruder, T2. So it's that easy, uh, it's just something you're going to have to remember, it's, it's not uh, really explained everywhere, but that's uh, how you're going to go about this. Um, in Slicer, obviously it's going to be a little different. You're going to be Extruder 1, Extruder 2, and Extruder 3. And the only thing that we're going to explain here is how to define the Extruder Offset. Extruder 1 is always 0, 0. You're pulling from the first Extruder. Extruder 2 and Extruder 3 are based off that one Extruder. All right, now we're back to here, and uh, we're just going to explain the relationship between the hot ends. And that's kind of the big ordeal on three color printing that you need to fully understand in order to successfully calibrate your triple extruder. So basically how you find those relationships is you get a ruler or uh, calipers or whatever, and you want to find the distance between extruder 1 to extruder 2, extruder 1 to extruder 3. And that's what you're plugging into the slicer, uh, the extruder offsets. As far as the X, this is easy. The Y is a little harder because you don't have any way of measuring that definitively. Now we do include, with the Go Large an SD card. And on the SD card we have this beautiful calibrated three color print. Now that might shift in uh, shipping or, or whatever. If you just bump one of these really hard, it's gonna, it's gonna knock everything off. So you're gonna have to slightly calibrate it, not every time, but uh, every now and then, just to make sure that those three colors are aligning. Um, it's very important. So how do we move extruder 3 to align with extruder 1 and and that's what we have here we have already printed uh, extruder 1 and extruder 2 are lined up pretty nicely but extruder 3 is off so how do we move that so in order to explain it we kind of wrote this up this is um, kind of the basics and here we have extruder 1 extruder 2 and extruder 3 also T0, T1, and T2 on Octoprint or whatever. Uh, T0 we have the standard relationship and this is the center point. 
on that extruder. And that's x0, y0. And what you're trying to find is the relationship between what we are calling x, or t2 and t0. Those are the two that are off. Here's kind of just a, a drawing of what we have on our, our print so far. Uh, t0 and t1 are lined up on the center point. So we don't need to do anything more with that, but T2 is off. And you can see the center point and T2 is just slightly high and to the right. How do we move that in slicer to, to line those center points up? So here's the measurements that we've taken. And, and this is what this printer has. Uh, T1 and T0 are 48.5. On this print, the, the wrong print, T2 is 95 away from T0, and it's just short of T0. So how do we line those up? And you can see on this grid right here that T2, slightly off, how do we change those numbers, those offset numbers in Slicer, to line them up? What you're going to do is you're going to go a positive number on the x-axis and a positive number on the y-axis. Seems backwards, seems confusing. I'm sure it's going to take you a few times of trial and error to, to really figure that out. But that's the way it's going to be and that's the way you have to kind of view that relationship. So you're going to go positive and positive to get those center points to align. Uh, once you do that, as you can see down here, 95 was just shy, so we need to add, and that's where you get your ruler out, and you measure. Measure that gap, and you see exactly how much I need to move over. I need to move over 2 millimeters. Now you can see here, normally I would think, well, I need to move it over this way or that way. Well, according to this, we need to go a positive number for x. So positive two millimeters. And when you go positive, because this is a little high, about 0 0.5, 0 0.75 millimeters. So now we're back to slicer. And uh, here again, extruder one, zero, zero. That's your center point. That's the one you're pulling your measurements to. Extruder 2 is right on. We, we don't need to move that one at all. So we'll leave that one alone. Extruder 3, that one was off. So we established that 2 millimeters on the X was off. And we need to go in the positive direction, which is to the left. So we're going to increase that number by 2 millimeters to 97. Now, Y was a little high, so we need to go in the positive direction, which was down to the southern direction and we established that it was about 0.75 millimeters so we're going to change it to 1.25 now we'll save it and we're ready to go I'm going to make a new G code save it just replace the one I currently have And it's really easy on Octoprint to drop in uh, new G-codes. All you do, drag it over, upload, and it's going to automatically upload. So pretty easy. Now it's in there. All I would do is hit this print button, which is this one right here, and it's going to automatically do its thing. Thank you. 